A typical operation that we want to perform on a series is to take a slice of it. This is similar to the slicing process that you may already be familiar with from other Python data structures, such as lists. There are two ways that we can slice a series. We can slice it either by its positional integer index or by the label index. If we slice by integer position, we use iloc. The range that we use is similar to the way that we define ranges when slicing a list. We provide the range of numbers separated by a colon, and as is the case in many other places in Python, the end of the range is actually specified as one number larger than the final number that we want to include in the range. So if we want items 1 through 3, we have to specify the range of 1 through 4. When we complete this slicing operation, we get another series that includes both the values of the slice and also the labels that go along with them. Recall that when we use iloc to specify a position in the series, the result was the type of item that composed the series. If the series is a series of strings, the result would be a string. However, when we slice a series using iloc, the result is another series, which includes both the values and their associated labels. Let's test this using the states series that we were experimenting with before. Here's the entire series. And here is the slice done with iloc using the range 1 colon 4, which produces items 1 through 3. We can also explicitly list the items that we want to include in the slice rather than providing a range. We can do this by passing in the integer indices as part of a list. Here is the list containing the items 1, 3 and 0, that is put inside the square brackets. Sometimes people don't put a space between the two sets of square brackets, which looks a bit odd to just have two square brackets on each side, but the inner set of square brackets is for defining the list, and the outer goes with iloc itself. So this is item number 1, item number 3, and item number 0. There is another way to slice a series that's not available in basic pandas data structures, and that is to slice a series by the label index using .loc. In this case, I can again specify a range, but instead of using the integer position, I use the actual labels. So this would include the items from the label for TN, through the label PA. In this case, the range that I've specified includes the final label, unlike the case with integer index. When I use loc to specify a position of a single item, the output was whatever type of thing was in the series. In this case, it would be a string. However, if I'm slicing using loc, and putting in a range of label indices. Then the output that I get, again, is another series, which includes the values and their associated labels. Let's try that with our state series. Here I see that I have gotten the labels Tennessee through Pennsylvania inclusive. As was the case by slicing by integer index, I can also specify the particular items in the series that I want by enumerating their labels. So in this case, if I say I want Tennessee, Alaska, and Ohio, I can just put in their label indices. I specify them as a list, so that's the reason for the inner square brackets here within the square brackets that come along with the loc command. So again, the output is another series, and the ordering of the items in that series is the same as the order in which I enumerated their label indices 
when I pass them in as a part of this list 